quick little disclaimer guys i am not a qualified and trained technician or mechanic nor will i ever claim to be everything i do here is through self-learning my way might not be the correct way however it will either end with a good result or a good laugh for you guys at my expense the sole purpose of these videos i have produced are for entertainment and information if you choose to follow my videos as guidance you do so at your own risk now that this boring bit is over i'll let you enjoy the video hello and welcome back to another youtube video um today we're going to be working on peugeot 206 Peugeot 206 Estate in Silver. We'll go out to the vehicle and have a look at it in a second. Um, but what I'm going to be doing today is a timing belt change. It's got the 1.4 litre HDI engine in it. Um, we're going to be changing the timing belt, changing the water pump, doing a coolant flush. And I think that's it. Yeah. Um, no, I've got to do an oil change as well, but I probably won't bother to record that because it is literally just, I'll sort of point out where the oil filter is on here, but changing oil with an oil filter on that is absolute doddle if I'm honest. So I've done various oil service changes and stuff like that. I'm not going to bother adding that to the video, it's just, thingy. but yeah. So we got 1.4 HDI um, engine um, on a 2005 plate Peugeot 206 Estate and we're going to be doing a timing belt change. So I'll go out there, I'll get it jacked up, get the wheel off, get um, myself set up ready to go and then we'll um, take a look and go through doing it. So we've got it, Peugeot 206 as promised, state. It's just it's that one and I've literally got it on an axle stand just here we've got the wheel off already and we've also got the these covers we need to get in the bottom here I'm not going to take this bottom one off but what I am doing is taking this one off and if you notice there's there'd be a 10 mil bolt and a 10 mil bolt in there right so one 10 mil bolt goes in there and one 10 mil bolt is literally just there you can pull this cover far enough forward to get access to it and get it out so as a result i'm not going to take this half of the wheel light liner out because i don't feel like i need to because all i need to do is be able to get there and also up there which i'll show you over there is the under tray cover However, I'm not going to tell you how to take the under tray cover off because if your one's in good condition, your one will be completely different to mine. Mine was literally cable tied everywhere. So there was no screws. And as you can see, there's a bit of an oil leak. I reckon the um, oil seal at this end's also leaking. That's not a job I'm able to do because I've been told to do what I've been told to do and I haven't got any other bits. But I need to get up here to this one just here which I will overlap on the screen about what size that is because I'm I think it's going to be a 15 but we'll have to put the spanner on it and let's see if I can get that oh, we're on the camera actually right so let's just go up here so basically you'll see on that point there it is the 15 and if we push the spanner this way you'll see that the belt now loosens and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the belt off whilst holding the camera as well but push it that way and I'm going to struggle yeah and I'm going to struggle to get the belt off so as a result make a note of how the belt goes because it goes up and over that alternator and over this pulley as well um, again this belt is going to be reused because it is just an alternator belt it goes up over there as well and that is just literally wiggle 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 and off we come down here like so now we need to get this bolt out um, and all the covers off so the bolt there is an 18 mil 
and I've managed to wind it off with the impact. Um, what you'll notice as well is on here, there is a little keyway. You've got to make sure that lines up. Um, but I have just put the bolt back in for now because we're going to have to, first of all, it needs to be used to assist with keeping this in place. And secondly, I'm going to have to rotate the engine to put it, time it up anyway. Um, so that's what the bolt's gone in back in for. But you can see now I can get the covers off easier. Um, but I'm going to have to take the top cover off first, then the bottom cover, then the engine mount, and then work out thingy. So I'm going to put it on a tripod and we'll just do some bits and I'll do voiceover if I need to. I'm struggling a little bit at the moment with the camera and that's because it's um i'm in devon and to be honest i'm also in where it's known as the english riviera and we seem to have the warmest summers in the whole of the uk as you can see the engine mount is now gone it's <coughs> four 16 mil bolts or bolts four bolts that go in there and it goes that way up and um, we've got the bottom cover off that goes up like that and the engine mount sits just there and we've got one there there's a hole there but that's where the the bot back uh the back bolt from the top cover goes through so we've got one two three four and five seven mil bolts you want to take them out there is a seven mil bolt sitting just here you don't need to take it out to get the cover off but you do need to take it out to get this little piece out this goes up behind and holds the timing belt in location when i say that it's not really going to come disconnected as such because it's still around the pulley but it just sort of supports the timing belt by going in there you undo that one and that's that I am also going to have to take the 
I've taken the wire off already for the uh, crankshaft position sensor which is just here oh, I can't even get the camera in properly so for the crankshaft position sensor so I've unplugged the wire already and just tucked that down there for now um, because it also went into that little clip on the cover um, that is one 10 mil bolt to take that off so I'm going to take that off and then we're going to time it up and what we've got is we've got the circle hole there that's our timing mark that's got to come around to there roughly there somewhere and we can put a drill bit in to lock it into place so basically what you need to do is get that hole there to line up and you can put a bolt or something to lock it in it kept falling out so i've just left it for now now that the belt is off i would also like to use tipex and mark locations just as an extra precaution um I, there was a, a pulley there the tensioner was there let's go down here a minute so <clears throat> We have the water pump just there. We've got this and these marks you'll say are out of line. Yeah, that's because I messed up. I I tipexed it while the belt was on and then realized that that pin wasn't quite straight. So I now believe that this car was originally one tooth out on the timing because that is now perfectly timed and the top is perfectly timed. I haven't got to worry about the high pressure pump that's up there just above because this one's the water pump which will be taken out in a little while that one up there is the high pressure high pressure fuel pump I haven't got to worry about that being timed because all that does is rotate and pump fuel um, and obviously a pulley is just a pulley which there isn't any in here at the minute for the timing belt side but the tensioner goes on to this one just here the idler goes on to this one and I'll show you what we've got so that's just a 15 mil nut on the idler this don't seem too bad to be honest but when we're in there it's silly not to replace the whole lot this is the tensioner this is a 13 mil You've got to make sure this little hole here, I don't know if you can, there, is constantly kept in the centre of this. And you use, you do, you move this about by using an Allen key on there, which is, I don't know what size that is because I haven't had to do that yet. Nope. Oh, that one fits, so what size is that? Um six mil six mil allen key on there but obviously that's irrelevant i need to check it's the same on the new one which it should be so let's go and then this is the belt starting to graze starting to crack um but all in all not too bad um i can still actually see the writing on it look so if you can still see the writing on it, it ain't actually that bad. It's a Deco belt. Right, what we got? Back here we have a, this is a INA, or INA as I like to call it, um, belt. So that's the new belt there for numbers purposes we also have the new water pump a new tensioner that's what I mean by we'll put this on and leave the pin in and once the pins in I'll just pull that out and it'll be sort of self tensioning to a certain degree and then I'll just have to adjust this to make sure it stays whilst tightening the, the bolt up Right, so now what we've got here, we've got the idler. That doesn't look like it matters which way round it goes on. 
and we've got selection of bolts as well so we've actually got one sec so i can see now we've actually got a new bottom pulley bolt which we'll put on the very last minute we've got a new um tensioner bolt it goes in there and we've got a new stud and nut for the idler so i'll get them fitted and then we've then got like say the belt and the water pump itself so so basically we're back under the car and we've got up here we've got one two three four five six and then there's another one just up here seven seven bolts holding the water pump in um that's going to be pretty much on there so there's also these little there's, there's like a little tab here which we can pry with with a pry bar that will allow us to get it off we don't have to clean all this surface up and i'll show you after we've done that um i also advise draining the system down because there's going to be fluid come out of there so what i've done is the bottom radiator hose i've just had that and then this tub is like a paint kettle i've just literally drained all the coolant or questionable it's coolant it's not really i don't think if i'm honest i'll show you what it looks like make your own mind up but i think i have an idea what it is and that's not got that color because of the remnants of this that is genuinely that color and it smells quite questionable as well so i think um someone needed the toilet and decided that the car should take it that's my personal thoughts but it could also be some sort of additive or it could just be very stagnant stale water i'm not entirely sure what that is because i've only really seen pink green or blue coolant um I've never seen like a yellowy colour, but nah, it's too too vibrant for that. But yeah, so I'm gonna get that water pump changed and I'm gonna then put the new ones of these in place, the belt on. But I'll, actually I'll get the water pump off and then I'll bring you back and show you what's what. So the old water pump is now off and even though I drained as much as I could, I still ended up having a bit of an accident so I'm not really going to show you me putting this one back on but you can sort of see down there where it goes um, also a little tip on here you've got the gasket you've also got two little triangle bits what it is basically those triangle bits allow you to wedge the bolt in place and then afterwards when you've screwed the rest of the bolts in and you know the gasket is safe you can screw those two bolts in as well um there's seven total on here two four six five so we've got two four five six seven in total and they're all um eight mil bolts and um yeah i'm just gonna get i can get it from the top or the bottom this actually um just a little ever so slightly more fiddlier from the top but then i haven't got to lay down in the wet paddle so yeah, I'm going to put this back on. I'll get those, um, the pulley and the tensioner back on, the belt on, and then we'll make sure it's all timed up again. All right, so I've got timing marks lined up. I've got the timing belt itself on, the tensioner and the idler is on, the water pump's on, the belt, like I said, is on. It's just, um, I'm going to use the camera to my advantage, hopefully, and have a quick look because I've also got all the locking pins out of the way and i've rotated the engine twice to double check that all the locking pins get match up but what i am looking for is that tensioner yes i don't know if you can see just in there right just in there where my finger is that hole is supposed to line up with that and it also goes on to the little nub shawl there on the engine and um if you've got the same tensioner as me you'll end up like that and you have to rotate it clockwise to get it to where it is so i'm just going to put the um bottom cover back on 
I can then put the engine mount back on and um, the top mount back on and <coughs> the top cover back on sorry and like I said with the and this cover we've got one two three four five there's also a bolt here which has this bracket on so this bracket has to go onto uh, onto here like so right so be stubborn so that one goes on there like that and we've also got my um these are all these are all seven mil for this and the cut engine covers we've also got over this side and get it is my camshaft position sensor it goes in there that one is a 10 mil on that so that's got to go in before the covers come up and it has that all these have to come off because otherwise you won't get the belt out from underneath so right i'm going to stop the camera get all this back together and then bring you back again so i've put the top mount back on that was just four bolts the bottom cover is now on as well with all its little seven mils i've got the bottom pulley to put on with the new pulley bolt um i've got the top cover to put on which i'll do now and because that's going to be quite awkward to weddle in there and then i'm going to put the top part of the engine mount on and then we'll be able to get it back on its wheels then so we've now got all these clips put back in i've put that socket back in i've put that clip back in i've put the one down the back there which is just a slot let me get the light So basically there's just a slot somewhere down there there's a plug there and then if we go over here oh no, i can't see it right okay so there's one piece that slots in down there i'm just in the process of putting this one back but if you remember the um, top part of the mount was t50s then we've then got the nut down there which is a 16 mil nut we've then got the two 13 mils that go on there and then what you'll look at is down in here you'll see that there's just at the end of the screwdriver there's a little white tab there and a little white tab there as well it's not going to show up on the thing properly but um and on the back of the ecu we've got little spikes one there and one just there and they go into those white tabs just there so that will slot in he says and then we then got the 10 mil nut down there which i've snapped so i'm going to drill out and put a nut and bolt through it um and that's literally it i a belt on as well um with a bottom pulley the new bolt is in yep and um whatever you do don't forget because i've just tried to start it and i didn't put this in as you can crankshaft possession sensor um make sure that's plugged in otherwise it won't even know where the engine is doing and it won't start so um yeah i've plugged that back in i'm literally just going to put this cover back on this one which goes up in here so like i said there's one hole there and you can pull this back and you can access the other hole just there and i'm not going to bother about doing it up or securing it underneath just yet because it's six o'clock in the afternoon i want some dinner so i'm going to put that bit back on put the wheel back on drop it down and um, finish the final few bits which even though i've had it running it hasn't got any coolant so i've literally just had it running for all of about 
60 seconds, if that, just to make sure it was running okay. So it needs coolant. It also needs an oil change, and I've got to change the oil filter, which is just hiding down there, but we'll have another look later. And, um, and there's a few other little bits. I think I've got like a brake light to sort out, but I won't put that on the video. Um, and then it can go back to my friend. Right, so all I've got left to do on this now, because I've jacked it back up for the purpose of what I want to do today, because I stopped yesterday. I've got to get underneath, and basically I'll show you underneath first. I've got to get this sump plug removed, because I'm doing an oil change. However, you can see all the covers except the bottom covers on again. Bottom covers there. I'm not going to tell you how to fix that, because like I said, <clears throat> every single fixing on here is broken so I don't actually know what fixings are supposed to be on it it's just cable tied all the way around the edge and that's how it's fixed and that's how I'm going to put it back um, so as they say if, the, if something works don't change it and that worked well so yeah I'm going to get that sump plug out get the oil drained um, what else am I doing oh yeah I've topped up the coolant doesn't look well I did top up the coolant, it's swallowed it all, but it's fine. I've got more to put in, so um, I'm going to keep topping that up while I'm doing everything else. And then once the engine's running, it will then cycle it through and get the air out of it. Um, um, the oil filter is down there. I'm going to put a socket on there, which will probably be, I'm not sure what size, one second. Right, so this is a 27mm socket. And that fits on there nice and snugly. So that'll be the one I use for that. I know what ones these are because I've already changed the air filter on here. Um, it's 25 mil Torx in these three. And that'll just fold up. Then you'll see the air filter sitting there. You peel that out, put the new one in, job done. So that's quite easy. And yeah, um, I'm just going to crack on and get this done now and then I'm like I said it's going to be all sorted and ready to go back to my friend so guys I have pretty much just wrapped it all up and done all the final touches with the uh, timing belt install video I've finished the service I've got it all sorted um, I've got some brakes to sort out but I'm not going to record that because I just want to get the thing back to my friend now so he can have his car back um but yeah i've done what i can with that but it's probably not that great but yeah we'll see um we'll see how it comes together in edit process and um fingers crossed not too bad but yeah thank you for watching guys please like subscribe and share my content um and i'll see you in the next video take care then bye for now